<laughs> welcome to Octomus member spotlight. Today we have Lutera. Uh, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Lutera, uh, please introduce yourself uh, and share whatever you want to share with us. Sure. So my name is Lisette Pertle and I live in South Carolina in uh, our beautiful city of Greenville. Um, I have been uh, doing rope flow for about, seriously, for about a year. Um, 15 years ago, I was given a, a wonderful gift, which was a frozen shoulder. And before it's a gift, really, because before then, I was very sedentary. I had been a um, um, business consultant, uh, an expansion business consultant. And uh, all what I did was stare at a computer for, you know, 24 seven almost, you know, what I mean, on the phone or in the computer. So um, and I just never as a kid, I never played any sports. I never did anything like that. So. When I um, got my frozen shoulder, I, it was a wake up call. You know, I was 50 years old, boom, frozen shoulder. And, um, you know, I didn't feel old or anything like that. But all of a sudden, I just felt like, oh, my God, what's happening to me? My, my, my body's breaking down. And that's what started me into my journey, um, changing my my. Um, mindset and seeing myself more of as an active person and less of a sedentary person and so i started with yoga mm -hmm. and um i was seriously into a younger yoga and then i i got i kept getting hurt and i'm saying oh, wait a second you know a younger yo yoga is probably one of the safest um type of yoga and so i realized that i was very flexible but not strong enough Oh, so you 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 have a hypermobility, right? I, I and I gained more, you know, as I yeah, practiced that, yoga. That was the that right pick for a for activity. Yeah, for, yeah. for your condition with the with the those really hypermobile joints. Yeah, yeah. So I realized I needed to do strength training. Mm. Because, you know, yeah. uh, and so, so, and I never gone into a gym, you know, and so that was very scary, very scary for me. Mm -hmm. I think that the older that we are, you know, if, if you, you probably can't relate at all because you've been active all your life, but you know, for people like myself who have not been active and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you realize, okay, my body's breaking down. I need to do something. I need to fix it. You take little steps. I, um to fix it and <clears throat> thankfully for me they went well for many people they don't you know and then they give up but for me they went well and i was really really dedicated so i you know with yoga i had a great teacher when i went into <clears throat> uh, strength training i was blessed with an amazing trainer and he was actually the one who introduced me to rope flow a couple of years ago <clears throat> and so yeah so that's well, my trick. <laughs> as, as as you said, like uh, I couldn't relate, but uh, is this this is the same experience? Like you you just entering uh, to the environment that is completely new to you. That that happens to me as well. But sure, 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 sure. Of course, and I can. Uh, it's it's possible to relate, and I guess everybody can relate that that sure. you get out of your comfort zone and you need yeah. to do something that you don't know. Right. Like, Right, you're right. Uh, like in in Lithuania, like in capital, it's it's kind of it's really popular now to run. Like it's like a runner city, but when you know what is running and you see how people are running, they assume mm -hmm. they know how to, how, right. how to do. Right. But sometimes it's it's you watching them and like okay, well, physios will have something to do. <laughs> with five or ten years if you are not changing anything and it's, right. it's like anything else uh is something new we need to learn even yeah. the running uh, yeah. sometimes we need even to learn how to walk properly because mm -hmm. we now like we we've been uh, adopting certain postures that we stick to us and when we start walking we we care that posture with us and it's 
it's not effective for our human body to do that yeah. but if we if you think about that we're doing uh, thousands of steps a mm -hmm. day so mm -hmm. we should be doing something like around that uh it actually influences our body and our yeah many many things in years so sure. like, we do millions of steps so that means millions right. of repetitions and if right. if your if your stride is something off in your stride yes you're getting stronger in that mm -hmm. uh, pattern that you're doing right well, and if it's wrong for your body then <laughs> it's either good or bad but yeah. it will have effect what that right. effect will be well mm -hmm. it depends some people adapt to that really good we are asymmetrical right so we are all asymmetrical and we are adapted to that but mm -hmm. some some sort of traumas actually really influences all the posture and you can see people who have like uh sprained ankles like uh, i can spot it probably 90 percent accuracy in the street wow we had something like that because of how we're placing a foot how we're walking so right. uh this walking actually shows a lot about the person mm -hmm. and not only their physical condition in the past but also psychological stuff and so on sure and that's where i believe the rope flow plays a huge part uh, mm -hmm. because it it's it's a teacher for you to move effectively mm -hmm. there's not good or bad because we are all unique so right you know, but we use the same patterns that are universal for all so we throw mm -hmm. we walk we punch and we swing stuff mm -hmm. and that's what we train with the rope right yeah 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 the, the rope has been a great teacher for me it really has because well it really it it shows me what my um what, what i need to improve on basically and uh, how i move and what is not working properly <laughs> and you know it's like um it's filming yourself you know videoing yourself and also having people watch you do it you know to me that that is also great I, like i go my trainer and i i he's actually in another town because i moved and uh, but i do go see him I, I drive an hour and a half to see him uh once in a while i used to do it every week but now i just do it once in a while so you know he's good when you drive an hour and a half to see him yeah, um, <laughs> But we we start with rope, you know, and he's my strength training, but we start with rope and, and we kind of teach and now we are teaching each other, which is really great. Like I introduce him to certain moves that he had not. Wow, what's that? And so um, but I love when he sees me because he can point out things like, you know, your rope is, you know, not, you know, on this side is going this way, on this side is going the other way. And, you know, if you don't have someone pointed it out, it just sometimes you just miss it. And, and yeah. that little change can affect how, you know, being smack with it, <laughs> the rope or not. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah i totally agree and uh, for many people it's good to have a coach and uh, also it's it's good to have a mirror for example yes or yeah, I have a mirror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, working with the mirror you also you need to have some certain process that mm -hmm. you're using to point things for yourself because yes. you can just do this it's like oh it looks cool <laughs> <I'm Exactly. good. laughs> but your thought processing behind that that's uh, where's the key and like yeah. me as a coach i want to actually uh, teach people the mm -hmm. all that thought processing and there's uh, right. cer certain tasks that i give you to evoke mm -hmm. uh, things mm -hmm. that i want mm -hmm. to evoke in you and like that way you can find out uh, how you can progress yourself just just mm -hmm. Having that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I I, I think the rope um, that that would be important. I don't know if something that you consider. You you say that you are a coach, and I know that there's a lot of people that are coaching the rope. Also, it's is to have accessibility to that to to a coaching to a coach. You know, right now I know that it's probably in your plans, but I don't know. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I'm. I'm in the background. I'm working uh, mm -hmm. because myself. I'm a coach because I've been uh, 
training people for more than 10 years. Right. Uh, I, I gained that, uh, yes, I've been instructor in the beginning uh, of, of fitness, and we can call sure. it that. Then I become a trainer when you start actually training people, right. and then you become a coach. Where right. you, as a coach, you're more like a guide. Exactly. Yes. I, yeah. Uh, That's what I do for business. So I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And and I see people in the comments like uh, they're getting angry at me because I'm not uh, telling them certain things because I don't instruct certain things. Mm -hmm. But this is the reason why I'm not doing it because I'm a coach. I can be a good instructor. I can instruct right. you that. Right. But I would be stealing you from your experience that mm -hmm. you will uh, build up your thought process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did you do things? How you learn that? How you recognize things by watching it, uh, pointing it, uh, naming it, whatever. I don't mm -hmm. care about labels. I care about the uh, about the layers and systematic approach, the, the concepts mm -hmm. of it, but not like instructing. Because instructing, it's good when you're just starting, and that's why all the mm -hmm. like their moves are instructed and uh, it's good to learn the basics and like everybody wants to learn the basics. Right. first of all like yeah i'm giving you fish there's one fish two three four fish but later on i want to give you a, a fishing rod and, and sure. let you know sure. how to fish it yourself right that, that's where actually training and after that coaching comes because yeah trainer will show you how to use the uh, the fishing rod so that you can catch it but mm -hmm. the coach will point you where you need to go to get the fish the best fish right right yeah right. and you need to figure out how to get it and how to catch it and and right. uh, that way the person if it goes through all that uh, that the uh, road they learn even deeper and mm -hmm. the lesson sticks with them more than somebody just instructed we did it uh, it's cool if they made it happen but if not it's like yeah <laughs> and, and we kind of forget it we did mm -hmm. we didn't through that uh, uncomfortable path, where is all the failures and and the sure. lessons, and this is a this is really really important uh, part of the all the practices basically mm -hmm. that we are doing. Mm -hmm. like, you tell the same things in business. Yeah. You need to make certain mistakes. Some things needs to be taught and tell the how, how how we need to do, but at certain level we reach that. But because well, as I as I understand in the business or even like in the sports, there's no way to do business. Even if it's the same kind of business, it's still uh, some processes will be different and people will do differently and it can be more successful or less or achieve yeah. goals by doing different things. Yeah, you know, it's interesting you say that it, it's there is um in business and going back to business instance, that's what I did. Um that's it, that's understanding that we can keep a, right exactly, exactly. So so my my specialty was franchising. So what is franchising but replicating a, a success a, su a success formula, right? Yes. In order for you to be able to replicate the success formula, you do have to break it down because you cannot expect a beginner to replicate a, a, pro a process if it's not broken down into, um, you know, because what happens in the mind of a learner uh, mm -hmm. is that there's a lot of fear, especially the older you get, the more fear there is, right? Because it's your whole identity is changing. There is a, in, in the in the fear of failure is huge. So um, if you don't break those things down for a, friend, a new franchisee, they, they just won't be able to replicate. Now, as the franchisee goes and, and get, gains more experience replicating by repetition, you know, those steps, it gets to a point when they start changing the formula a little bit. And that's what you're saying, right? Yes. That's what they use in their intuition. They, they're, you know, depending on the business, they they can start changing it and it will not um affect their level of success in, in fact it will increase their their success rate however it's not always the case you know Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's not always the case because if you have a say for example it, with rope flow is totally different because once you gain the the foundational moves 
then the intuition takes over and and then you can you know just work on your coordination and and you know there's many other elements and you you know you look at every person doing uh road flow and they all look different right they all I mean, you have your own unique style yeah so it's to totally different than in in franchising because in franchising you want them to look exactly the same and the success of the franchisor is that they all look the same right so um because the customer experience will be if it's different then you know it's not successful but at any rate the, the point is that at the very beginning especially in my opinion for older adults mm -hmm. He, the breaking down of the moves and the understanding because we try to be too mental you know? <laughs> you know the understanding okay i need to move my hand this way or the, you know and why do i do that um it it takes away some of the free the fear yes. and and i think that that's crucial but I have the approach for that, like breaking down is good for basics, as, as we already Wait. figured on that. Yeah, and moving further, uh, it doesn't matter your age or, or it's it's still, it's the thought processing. For it's some, it, it will take longer and will be more frustrated until they unlock it. Mm -hmm. It's a puzzle that we need to solve for each other. And mm -hmm. it doesn't, it doesn't make actually different if for you, it took uh, an hour to do it or a month, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you solve it. You right. walk through all the possible pathways to unlock it. Now you yeah. have, and now you know how you did it. And you next time you will know how to do that. And maybe you will do it faster because mm -hmm. you already walked the path. And uh, like uh, another, another thing is that just saying like, oh, your hand's supposed to be there and there. Sometimes I feel like telling a story, it, it has more benefits sure. into that. And people just, from the story, they know what we need to do. If right. it's not explaining exactly what you need to do, but just mm -hmm. telling a story, uh, telling just a simple intention, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or try to imagine that you're doing something or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and we switch mind from, trying to control something right. to just doing and reaching like uh, if you think about the kids development yeah we mm -hmm. don't know how to, that we need to lift arm move it forward grab it something no you're right you're absolutely right mm -hmm. we just seek it and do it yeah mm -hmm. and the, the further on we kind of we try to seek and do it we don't think how it moves right we just trying to achieve certain thing like uh it's really good practice with rope flow try to hit something mm -hmm. be really precise to have mm -hmm. a balls on the on the side on the side of your body or like if you're outside stones mm -hmm. or whatever like something small and you just you're trying to hit it mm -hmm. it changes your body sure in ways because you're trying to put a different position just to achieve that certain tax to be really accurate right. with your movement and right. to know where the your rope apex is so you you feel kind mm -hmm. of extension of your body throughout the rope sure yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just bringing the play element yeah 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 well it's simple words it's play <laughs> exactly yeah 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 yeah, yeah. we just yeah. we just really need it i, I think that you know in my case i i i know that i forgot how to play you know i i took life very seriously and it was just a very black and white type of thing so it's now only that i am so learning to play in the grown up from early days that you stopped playing yeah 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 so so you know it's just learning how to play and i think also in in this country uh you you just you know play is just something that you don't do you work <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know it's when you go to other countries you know i mean look at look at the the, the vacation time of other countries compared to the united states you know it's just i mean the mindset is just so different and i think that as we grow up in this environment um you know you just get at least for me you know i just focus work 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 
and play was just not something that was, you know, part of my life, if you would. So now it is, and it's just really, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, and the rope really helps in, you know, learning how to do it. And I get frustrated and I just like, you know, it's hard, but, you know, just keep on doing it because it's fun. Yeah, that's wonderful. That I'm I'm glad that you finally found the play. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Yeah, now you're picking up the benefits of it. So it's yeah, it's really, really wonderful. So yeah. Lizette, what is your relationship with Roflow? We we talked like that you started a couple of year, years ago, like how it looks like like now. Um, so you know, it's interesting. I started, I was given this a uh, homemade rope that was a disaster but i you know i couldn't you know it's just very very uh, thin and it's just it was just not good and then i order an, an another you know the a WEC, um, the WEC, um rope and that's how i learned now it, it i had to stop because i hurt my my shoulder and um you know, even even though the rope helps, you know, when it's in, in that inflame, um, you know, point, you can't, you know, you can't do repetitive movements because it will just, you know, make it worse. So I had to stop, and it was a real, real um, disappointment for for me because I was gaining momentum, and then I stopped, and then I got your rope, and I realized the difference between the ropes, and so where i am is so i started really focusing on the foundational movements mm -hmm. so what i see now is my relationship with a rope is exactly what you just mentioned meaning i at first i had to break it all down i had to really and it took me forever forever to get anything to work it's just like i mean underhand underhand sneak I probably worked on it for about a year and a half. You know, it's just like I started working on it like right away, and it was just I made a lot of mistakes along the way. I like I tried to do moves, to learn moves, too many moves at the same time. You know, I made all the mistakes that you <laughs> that you can make. I made them. So, but now what I see is that I can take a new move. And I can, as you said, you know, I've learned the, that breaking down whatever it is that I have to do in my mind to learn it, mm -hmm. the time has shortened tremendously. And so it's like, okay, before it took me a year and I have to get this, but now it just takes me a, a few weeks. And so even though I had to pretty much stop what I was doing for two months uh, to take care of my husband, I, uh, you know, just picked it up again two weeks ago and I'm learning new things. So it is still frustrating at times, you know, like I cannot do what other people do. Um, I don't have, um, I don't seem to have the coordination that other people do and I haven't let go. So I also have this huge hair. <laughs> Well, I, I know what it means. <laughs> Even when, if you're making a bun, it like you, you get caught if you're off. I know. <laughs> and it's, it's frustrating, but but it. <laughs> so I've learned that the only way is just to put two putty tails in the front, you know, like this. Is the only way that it works. That's nice. <laughs> so. That's a good idea. Maybe I should do that <laughs> as well. Uh, so, is that, do you? Do you just trying to like mimic what other people do with the rope flow, or you already have developed uh, your way of researching rope flow and coming up with uh, combos or certain moves that you are not necessarily seeing them, but you feel like like oh this is something new, I don't know what it is, I just. Little I've done that. I've done yeah. that. You know, it's just because that's, a, that's part of the play. But I still feel, you know, and this is my my thing. I still feel like I want to get some of the um, more, I would say, midi, um, you know, mid. Um, so you have the beginner, the advance, and somewhere in the middle. You know, some of those. You know, like for example, the um, um, the the anchor sneak. You know, it took me a couple of weeks to get it, you know, and so I'm learning those things and I, I still learning those things, you know, so I'm learning those very, um, I would call them foundational still, 
you know, uh, or maybe not. Are you in here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, but I do come up with something. But th here's the thing, right? You know, when I come up with something, it's like, oh, wow, what was that? And then I try to replicate it, and it's just not <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, in my own uh, practice, like, I found a lot of things that there was a lot of fails that actually opened something. And yeah. that's where I come up. Like, yeah. as a foundation, like, as I mentioned, that I, I don't disagree, like, Anchor Sneak. It's Anchor Sneak is somebody that come up and that they liked it. Like, I yeah. don't, I have tried it once i guess i didn't like it myself and yeah. i just not doing it yeah and, uh, well it and it, and you don't need to do it that's why it's foundation is just figure eights matadors and dragon rolls right like even sneak is actually the combination of the two sure sure and basically and alternating sneaks is actually just a transition transitional parts of the moves right you walk, go from one right. to another combine those two trans transitions and you have like alternating on their hand sneak or some, some other call it Phoenix roll. Uh, so it's uh, it's just a transition. So it it actually good to look as one of the advanced foundational or intermediate foundational moves. <laughs> well, like uh, I guess like we can stop with intermediate as a foundational moves because what uh, when we go to advanced is more like uh, that you can come up with a certain patterns or movement right on the spot. And in my practice every day when I do something, I'm trying to come up some some combination that I have never done before. And mm -hmm. it, it's usually not that hard. Right, uh, right, right. right. <laughs> if you did my exploration task, mm -hmm. yeah. So with that approach, uh, you don't need to do like on the method or only there's exploration that by lifting certain body part or changing the position of it sure. actually changes all the dynamic and mm -hmm. most of the times you just like smack yourself for the first few times but sometimes you feel like oh if i avoid it there or do something like that or step mm -hmm. it actually rope will go through and i can actually find something that works i mm -hmm. maybe on something and okay if it wraps i need to come up with the exit from it and you kind of just add up uh, stuff on, on top of another and you mm -hmm. okay this is something new i don't know if somebody did it or not um uh, because i just come up with this 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 here i, I wasn't trying to recreate i create sure. from my from my yeah. own practice I, I think that the, the creation, that's really what, like, for example, I see a lot of people doing certain moves and said, it's just, they don't appeal to me. Some of them appeal to me. And then I say, ah, that looks cool. I want to do that. Um, but, you know, and then, uh, so uh, the foundational moves I can do, you know, I flow and I feel really great, but to answer your question, but it, Am I recreating other people's moves? Uh, I'm not recreating the flow. I'm trying to learn certain moves. Yeah. Because I know that Ed, the flow is just within you, I think. Yeah. So you, you can incorporate those moves in your flow exactly. afterwards. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Whatever you want to incorporate in the free flow, basically, you need to practice separately. Right. As a single unit. Right. And then it becomes easy. There's also parts when I actually find out myself by doing a free flow. I actually discover after when after filming, I watch and I see like, and this is that something that I never done before. <laughs> and uh <-huh. laughs> it's actually been that's when I when I know that I've been in really, really good flow. Right. Uh, because if I went into it and I found the exit right away because mm -hmm. I know it where to move further without interrupting the, for, I don't know, maybe flow of the rope. I sure. <laughs> don't even know how to express it, but like sure. it, it just happens. It just happens and you can notice afterwards. So this, this is when you kind of get to get to advanced level. In right. My right, 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 right. <laughs> Uh, Lizetta, uh, what uh, one piece of advice you could uh, tell to the listeners? Uh, <laughs> well, oh. one is 
uh, one is tough. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's just repetition is key, right? Repetition is key. Be patient with yourself. If I can say anything, is be patient with yourself um, because that is the key that will allow you to continue. If you're not patient, then you will just drop it after a few failures. You'll say, I'll never get this. But you will if you repeat and repeat and repeat and accept that, you know, it's going to take what, how long it's going to take. It's not a, it's not a competition of time of, okay, I got to get this in a week. Exactly. Uh, we all start in, in, in a different uh, place, uh, different points. So we can achieve the same things at certain point. But for some, it can be fast. For some, it can be longer. Right. So this is this is the great advice. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank <laughs> you for for having a, a chat with me and sharing you having me here. experiences. Thank you. Yeah, that was a pleasure. <laughs>